How's it going YouTube? It's Panda time. In this video we're playing a Dracula discard deck. The idea is that you're gonna discard Apocalypse as much as possible, get that power as high as you can. At the end of the game, instead of paying 6 mana for the Apocalypse, Dracula is gonna discard him, get an extra 4, and then Dracula will steal his power, which is a much more efficient way to go about it. On top of that, we have solid discard synergies, such as Morbius, who gets stronger when you discard, a bunch of ways to discard cards, such as Colleen, the double 3 drops, and then some nice payoff in the Ghost Rider as well. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get some Pog Dracula discards. I recently got the Hell Cow. We're gonna see how much work you put in. Yo, Hop in the chat. How you doing, Hop? Good to see you. Uh, it is a rare stream, yeah. You know, I, I have a job now. I work eight hours a day. So we're not really streaming every day, but you know, every once in a while I figure it could still stream for fun. I don't love the Sanctum Tomtorum. Um, but I guess we'll just play the Swarm. No, I have like a real, like a real job, a real career. It's not strategy, it's peak performance. <laughs> I used to snap turn one every game. People do that. People love to do that. So I don't want to discard Dracula. Well, if I discard Dracula, it's okay. Ghost Rider brings him back. If I discard Ghost Rider, then we're just sad. Would I really sit here and bet it all in a 50-50? Would, would I be so crazy enough to do that? Alright, come on, please. Discard Dracula. Dracula. No! Well, that's the discard deck. I'm glad that we uh, talked about it and decided that that was the deck. I guess Dracula. I don't know. Hope is good enough. I don't even have Apocalypse. At least we're winning the Flood. Hey, Morbius. We do like Morbius. I get Guaranteed America Chavez next turn. So, who knows, maybe it's good enough. I don't love the Hobgoblin. It's Morgan time. I don't think my Morgan's gonna be good enough, sadly. But... It might still be enough to beat this guy. Because I discard the Rock, it's still Morbius synergy, right? Korg might be the best card to get high rarity. Dude, that rock is crazy. Look at that rock. I've never seen a crazier rock in my life. Carnage. I'm not too scared of what he could do there. Debris totally fine. Yeah, that's not gonna be good enough, dude. Discard the rock for the epic Morbius, and that's a GG. I trade very too often, but when I don't, I lose 8 cubes. Relatable. Alright, that was a clean game, you know what? I'm down for that. That was a nice, clean game. Life is good, you know? We're in a better spot, for sure. Yo, is that that boy in the chat? The one, the only? Have to go to work? Just dropping by to say hello. Hey, well, it's still nice to see you, that boy. Hopefully you have a good day at work. Okay, this is what we call a Pog discard hand. And this guy might be a... he might be a bot. I look better? Hey, thank you, Hop. Okay, you know what? Iceman there is like royally messing me up. See, this is why Iceman is broken, right? Do you see what that one Iceman did? He pretty much 1v9 my entire hand. Now I got a 2-drop. Well, do I want to guarantee discard the Apocalypse? I guess. Would like to draw a Dracula. One Dracula, please. Give me the Dracula. Hellcat would also be Pog. Would not mind a Hellcat. Hey, there's Dracula. Okay, you know what? Let's assume that I'm gonna win this by spamming. And I'm already behind on Ruin, so let's try and win the Diabolo's base. That is gonna be quite a bit of power over here. But still... I'm not scared, right? We're just discarding and spamming. I don't know if it's gonna be good enough. He's gonna get quite a bit of power. Oh, I hate the Hobgoblin. 
That's kind of messed up. It's actually really messed up. What do I need? What is a good draw? Well, my apocalypse is huge. Like, absolutely gigantic unit. It's not really guaranteed that I play it. So what, uh, then I, yeah, so why don't I just play it and we'll let Dracula discard something else. I feel like he'll never see that coming. Pog. That was an epic win. See, like, you assume Dracula to discard the Apocalypse. But what if I just played the Apocalypse? Okay, this seems like the beginning of an epic hand. Very, very epic hand. We could try and let Morbius 1v9 Atlantis by himself. Do you guys like this blade skin? Ooh, plus 5 energy, huh? Oh, that is interesting. You know what? I believe Morbius could do this by himself. That's kind of risky, though. One Morbius against the world? Why not? After all, why shouldn't I? Could also just Lady... Oh no, but it's not gonna come back, right? Okay, no, let's just do this. One Morbius, Lady go. I guess I float two mana, it's not the greatest. Bro, wait, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna beat that. I guess we're gonna try and win the right lane. And hope that Morbius can get it done over there. I just don't know anymore, chat. He do be Morbin. If only I had a Morbin skin. I don't know about this. Hey, Swordmaster, Ghost Rider? That's what I'm doing. Oh, I didn't want to discard this. Whatever, it's fine. It's okay. We have the Hell Cow. Can I draw Dracula? Nope. Oof. I don't know about this. Hellcat is pretty sick though. Wait, why would he Jubilee there? He doesn't want to get Atlantis value? Wait, okay, you know what? For that, we're gonna snap this guy. Just for that. Literally just for that. Yeah, give me that epic Morbius. Blade, discard Apocalypse into another Apocalypse. Seems good enough. Well, uh, we definitely just gave up on mid, yeah, that was an insane hella. <laughs> I mean, I guess if he held it, maybe it would have been better. Okay, this is the face of a man who's going to Infinity Knot. But, he could only Infinity Knot in one place. Okay, that guy got collapsed. 